Okay, so this is going to be a quick video on drawing a floor plan for, I guess, any purposes. It can be any flowcharts as well. It's a free tool, so you don't have to pay for it. And there are some, a number of capabilities. I think this will be widely used in, in different forms. So to get to the uh, actual software, it's on the web. Just type in to browser draw.io. Hit enter and this will pop up. Now it's got the ability to save a number of ways so uh, all the different options depending on which one you're using you can decide later but it does make it a bit more beneficial so I'll just and you get a blank screen. Now there are options here if I click on new, file new you get all the possibilities of creating different charts. Floor plans is one of it. Gantt charts, network design, software design, tables, Venn diagrams. So the list is quite extensive and it's a matter of just selecting the right one or you can start with a blank screen. So this is the blank screen. Now Floor plans, I can do floor plans here, probably what, and gives me a wide range of options that I can select from. So this will be a good start. I can just start off with a, a square wall, and within each wall, I can just start to rotate and build my, my floor plan. So it's actually quite beneficial. So I might just have that in the middle there. There's a couple of doorways. We'll take that through. And finish off with a wall there. All right, now there are a number of other, like I had a, had a couch, so obviously this isn't going to be a, an example of a true home, but you get the idea we've got different sorts of templates that we could use. And add some windows if I need to. Right, and obviously we'll need to adjust some of these, so you might want to Adjust the length here, add your window in there, and build upon it slowly. Now the benefit here is, what I can do, if I'm looking for a particular type of desk, then all you have to do is just type it in. We've got what else is there? A sink. Let's see if that pops up. Yep. So we're going to add a sink here. Uh, toilet. So you can actually potentially get a, an existing floor plan and put in the various appliances. Uh, let's see if a washing machine is here as well. Perfect. So you get the idea there's there's a number of options here. Now they do have the ability to download the application on whether it's Windows, Mac uh, and Linux. -y. So yeah. So what I've done, I've just done a simple floor plan here and I've saved it into my local directory and I'll jump into Word now. So Word actually has a plugin that you can download, uh, which I've already done here. And it's under the Insert tab. To the right after it's installed, once I click this, I'll get the option to load the file that I've created. And the example room there that I've done. You'll see it on the right here. 
now I can actually insert it and that's how I would get a floor plan into a Word document especially in reports hopefully that's helpful and it's a quick and easy compared to the other options that are available on iPad drawing and different apps that you could download but uh, this is a free app and why not use it it's got all the figures and little templates that you need and the opportunities are sort of endless thanks for watching and good luck